and more respected today than they did eight years ago when I took office. America is already great. America is already strong. And I promise you, our strength, our greatness, does not depend on Donald Trump. In, in fact, it doesn't depend on any one person. And that, in the end, may be the biggest difference in this election, the meaning of our democracy. Ronald Reagan called America a shining city on a hill. Donald Trump calls it a, divi a divided crime scene that only he can fix. It doesn't matter to him that illegal immigration and the crime rate are as low as they've been in decades because he's not actually offering any real solutions to those issues. He's just offering slogans and he's offering fear. He's betting that if he scares enough people, he might score just enough votes to win this election. And that's another bet that Donald Trump will lose. And the reason he'll lose it is because he's selling the American people short. We're not a fragile people. We're not a frightful people. Our power doesn't come from some self-declared savior promising that he alone can restore order as long as we do things his way. We don't look to be ruled. Our power, our power comes from those immortal declarations first put to paper right here in Philadelphia all those years ago. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that we, the people, can form a more perfect union. That's who we are. That's our birthright, the capacity to shape our own destiny. That's what drove, that's what drove patriots to choose revolution over tyranny and our GIs to liberate a continent. It's what gave women the courage to reach for the ballot, and marchers to cross a bridge in Selma, and workers to organize and fight for collective bargaining and better wages. Um, America's never been about what one person says he'll do for us. It's about what can be achieved by us, together, through the hard and slow and sometimes frustrating but ultimately enduring work of self-government. And that's what Hillary Clinton understands. She knows that this is a big, diverse country. She has seen it. She's traveled. She's talked to folks. And she understands that most issues are rarely black and white. She understands that even when you're 100% right, getting things done requires compromise. That democracy doesn't work if we constantly demonize each other. She knows that for progress to happen, we have to listen to each other and see ourselves in each other and fight for our principles, but also fight to find common ground, no matter how elusive that may sometimes seem. <laughs> Hillary knows we can work through racial divides in this country when we realize the worry black parents feel when their son leaves the house isn't so different than what a brave cop's family feels when he puts on the blue and goes to work, that we can honor police and treat every community fairly.